So this is my ZZ plant, Zamiel Colchis zamiafolia, a very common plant in the houseplant market, particularly because it's touted as a low light plant. And I am a true testament of that. You might see this plant, it's arching over a little bit more like a, a C shape on its side. And it's largely because I have this in the interior of my house. There is very little light, even ambient light that is getting to it. But this plant is probably six or maybe even seven years old. And it's gone through a lot. You could see that I actually have some electrical tape on, um, on this particular stem because I've knocked it over a couple times, you know, when you're vacuum cleaning and everything along those lines. And I've just actually, you know, put the electrical tape around the stem just to, to keep the flow to the plant grow, going. And you could actually see that the stem has survived and the leaves on the stem have survived. It's a very succulent plant and it could actually withstand bright light conditions. It has this really waxy cuticular sheen on its leaves as well to protect it from water loss. So this is a particular plant that does not need to be watered all that much and could stand a little benign neglect. And believe me, this plant is benignly neglected <laughs> within my home um, and has provided a really much needed green space in a corner of my place that is relatively not well lit. So, you know, if you want to give this plant a little bit more bright light conditions, you obviously very much can. And you would want to water that in relation to the amount and the intensity of the light that you're actually giving it. I don't water this plant very much, maybe once every week, once every week and a half. And again, it's be partially because I'm not giving it a tremendous amount of light. As far as soil goes, I give it a really well-draining mix. This one's really, really heavy on perlite, and the plant seems to do really well with that. Um, it actually has a lot of like new little plantlets um, growing up out of this, and propagating this plant, you could do so by leaf cutting with a little bit of petiole. You could do it through uh, division. Um, I've actually even taken some little stems and put them in just some other potting medium elsewhere, and it, it pretty much takes readily. This is an aroid plant, so those of you who really like philodendrons or monstras, this is one of the oldest aroids. It actually comes from Africa and it's native to Africa. You can actually see it throughout Kenya and um, it's been cultivated for, for quite some time. As far as fertilizing goes, it's a very slow growing plant, so I think that you could probably get away with a lower amount of fertilizer, probably a well-balanced 10-10-10 or even organic fertilizer, and you could probably do it a little bit more on a quarterly basis. As far as pests go, I've never had pests on this plant. It's, uh, it's been pretty resilient for me as far, as far as that goes. I'm sure it could probably get scale or, or mealybugs. I mean, mealybugs sometimes kind of like these little bit more succulent plants. Um, but for the most part, it's been very good and, and not a stressy plant, plant, so low maintenance. So if anybody who has a lower light condition, anybody who has that little dark space, believe me, it needs a little bit of light. Anybody who has that kind of space um, in your home, then you might actually want to try out a ZZ plant.